how would NCRC structure itself? Uh, this again, so we drew again from some uh, of the Kutch experiences where for instance what had worked very well uh, was setting up cluster level facilitation centers called the setus. So, in, so the setus were facilitation centers in clusters of 15-20 villages and therefore these centers when they get mandated by the civil society and the state, um, we had agreed then that the government information would go into the setus first. Therefore, when setus are giving information to the communities on let's say a policy, then there is a credibility to it. Our four pillars were IEC, uh, community, sector support and uh, advocacy. Now under community facilitation, right. we may, uh, clustered some of the villages together okay. and set up 12 village information centers. And each of this village information center was staffed by one male, one female, okay. of which one was professionally qualified okay. and the other was a local to ensure that the community knew exactly what is being discussed at higher levels, okay. what are the orders that have come. Take it to the community. Okay. We had this in the vernacular also. We had it in Tamil also. Okay. Okay. Discuss this with them see what are their uh, uh, responses to this and then take it back to the government. Uh, also given the experiences in Kutch, one could foresee and see what are the kinds of roles that will emerge six months from now, eight months from now. So within the first two, three months, one started looking at potential recruitments. What are the kinds of profiles of people that Sneha would require, SIFS would require, the collective, the coordination mechanism would require. Uh, what are the kinds of funds that would be required? So funds, policies, people, hmm, that started getting organized and therefore you start drawing in donors who you know uh, would be interested in certain sectors or certain mandates. So in a sense the organization starts taking shape hmm, from, from a space to a, a relief campaign so to speak to a, a small organized body into an organization. And the organization cannot be only the government, the organization cannot be only SIFS, it cannot be only SNEHA or it cannot be only the UN for instance or UNDP. Right? The organization itself has to be a new baby given birth to by all these actors. So that was NCRC. So NCRC became the uh, the autonomous body as it were which was independent of SIFS or SNEHA or the district administration but where everybody vested in and everybody gave birth to it together.